Well, guess what we're doing now? Well, now we're going to be doing the front forks. Okay, so uh, this is section D. Uh, so I'm going to take these and I have to... I'm going to use the same material, one by one, 0.095 wall thickness. I think it might be a little thin, but nah, I think it'll be alright. Anyway, so i got to cut all these pieces out, and then uh, I'm going to put them uh, over here like I did the other parts, uh, so everything comes out square. And uh, see how see how long that takes me. <laughs> oh, one more thing I also wanted to show you guys. Since I know that I want my front tires to be four inches away from me or four feet away from each other, I built up this template bar with just two ends welded on the end. With two, uh, we got five eighths right there and a one inch piece right there, and then I've got 37 inches exactly this bar right here to help set it up, and I've got one on each side. So this is a little jig. Yeah. All right. Well, I got that bar done, and uh, unfortunately, my grinder, the head on my grinder, seized up on me. So there was no way for me to grind anything or really cut anything or clean it off really good. Uh, I started to uh, grounded some of it off, and I grabbed the wire wheel and went around it, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't use my little sanding uh, sanding wheel or nothing on there now, so I'm going to have to wait until I can get a new grinder. Um, yeah, the, uh, the angle, or the rake, that you would call it here, is uh, going to be at 20 degrees, or 70, depending upon which way you're looking at it. But uh, uh, the handlebars will be right up here. Um, that bar will be gone, of course. And then, um, I gotta make my linkages for the front end down here. I gotta wait for my hub to show up. And, uh, let's see, what else? Well, doing the calculations on this thing, since I've got a rake of 20 degrees, and the size of my tire, uh, and the distance of everything, I'm looking at a trail. Now, you're trail is uh, the point of contact going straight up the distance from the point of contact to the road to the focal point in line with your rake so that distance that's between here so you've got this angle of the rake and then you got the straight up and down horizontal that distance is four and a quarter that I've got or maybe it's a four and an eighth something like that so my trail on this thing is uh, four and a half or four and a quarter or something like that trail on it um, from what I've read it's pretty standard to have a trail distance anywhere between three and a half to six inches well depending upon who you talk to but yeah so that's what we're looking at right now and uh, I have no idea when I'm going to be able to put out my next video, you guys, because i got to get a grinder before I can do anything else. Um, and there ain't no way I'm going to sit here and file all this crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm determined, but not that determined. <laughs> but there you go, you guys. That's the way it's going to kind of sit. Just not a crooked uh, front tire like that. <laughs> So, okay. So, what do you guys think? You, when I get this thing done, what color should I paint it? I don't know if I should paint it black, because if I paint it black, then everybody will think that I'm trying to do some bat pod. And um, I don't want to do that. don't want to do a bat pod. That's a very bad machine. I don't like it. And um, it's not very stable. Maybe one of these days I'll do a video where I'm explaining why that's not a very good... why the bat pod's not a very good motorcycle. But... Uh, I really don't know if I should paint it black, or I don't want to paint it black, but I'm thinking about maybe painting it a darker military green, if I can find any color like that. I like that flat green, maybe a little dark, but I don't know. Or I could paint it white. Eh, yeah, 
I don't know. All right, guys. So that's what I did today. Uh, I was hoping I'd be able to do more, but my grinder seized up on me, and I'll show you which grinder it is. It's this one. It's actually not even mine. It's my neighbor's. He bought it to, uh, so I could use it on some of his projects and stuff, and he says, well, you know, um, my grinder took a crap on me because these uh, contacts on here are worn too low, so they don't even make contact with the electric connectors in there for the motor. So I got to contact Harbor Freight and see if I can get new of those connectors. Um, so when that went to crap on me, he said I could go ahead and use his. Well, now his head, all this gear up here, is really hot and it was it started seizing up on me. So I unplugged it, and let it cool off a little bit. I started rotating it and it kind of worked a little bit, a little gritty. And I turn it back on again, it seems to vibrate a lot more. So I don't know if it's the bearings that are going bad in the dang thing, or, or if it's the actual gear cogs in there that are messed up, or what. So I don't know. But I know I can't do much without one of those things. So, yeah. Anyways, okay guys, I'll talk to you later, and this is what I did today. Yeah, just made a little fork. <laughs> Alright, subscribe and thumbs up the video, and post a comment down below. I like reading them, you guys. Bye-bye.